Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you liked the first session where we had 10 questions from the electronics and electrical engineering fundamentals and I am sure you would have liked it. And this session we are going to continue that and we are going to have 5 questions here and we start right away. Do holes and proton represent the same meaning? Please understand, hole has got no charge and mass, therefore it is considered positive. But on the other hand, the nucleus has positive charge and also possesses mass. This is to be remembered and hole has no charge and mass, therefore it is positive. But the nucleus has positive charge and also it possesses mass. So this is very very important and also please remember, when you take or consider the hole, it is considered to be positive because it has got no charge and mass and also it is more positive when compared to the negative charge of electrons. This is something that we need to understand. Right. Do holes exist also in conductors? There is no hole current in conductor since they possess overlapping valence and conduction bands. This is very very important. There is no hole current in the conductors since they possess overlapping valence and conduction bands. Also when you take or consider the conductors, electrons are loosely bound. They are loosely bound to the nucleus and because of that it can detach easily at the room temperature itself. Also a large number of free electrons do exist in the conductors. This is a very important question. So please if you do not understand you can listen to it once more or you can read through once more from the video itself. This is such an important question. Well. Where are the holes located in the semiconductor? In the valence band, conduction band or in the forbidden energy gap? Please understand this is such an important question again. At 0 Kelvin, a semiconductor normally acts as an insulator at 0 Kelvin. Nevertheless, at the room temperature which is 300 Kelvin, the electrons that are present in the valence band on gaining thermal energy that's because of temperature rise move to the conduction band. This point is important. At the room temperature which is 300 Kelvin, the electrons that are present in the valence band on gaining the additional temperature or the thermal energy, they move on to the conduction band. Consequently, the next step, a hole is created in the valence band due to the deficiency of the moved electron. For each electron excited from the valence band to the conduction band, a hole is created in the valence band. This is a very important question I hope I clarified it. Why a human body is susceptible to electric shock? It's a very simple question, it's a yet a very important question. Human body has got 70% of water, almost 70%, right? So almost all our organs in the body are watery. Since water is a very good conductor, I, I had I have conveyed this earlier in my previous session as well. Water is an excellent conductor. So same is the case here. Water is a very good conductor of heat and electricity. Our body is always prone for electric shock. Well, what is an electrical tester? Can I hold it in either of my hands? This is a very important question. We have presented you the structure of electrical tester here and it's very easy to go through as well. You must have used it. So what is it used for? It is basically used for understanding if a conductor is live or not. If the wire is carrying electricity or not, I can test it very simply. And it is usually in the range of, it, it is usually comprised of high resistance, which is normally in the range of mega ohms. Now, the point of contact with the metallic cap is to be minimal, I mean the top portion, so only the forefinger is used. This is the way we are using, right? Only the forefinger will be used for testing. When you are in contact with the tester with the forefinger of your right hand, I am specifying with your right hand, the current passes through the right hand, the right side of the chest, the right thigh and finally gets grounded through the right leg. But when you go to the left hand side, if you are using your left hand, the forefinger of the left hand, the current passes through the left hand, left side of the chest, where the heart is located, left thigh and finally gets grounded to the left leg. The heart is there in the left hand side, Just the fun that's the fundamental concept. Since the heart's sino-arterial node, that is the pacemaker, generates electric impulses of its own for each and every heartbeat, the external current flow may lead to, it may, not every time, it may lead to unwanted interruptions and it could at times result in cardiac arrest. So, we are not uh, prescribed to use the testers with the left hand, use your right hand. I hope these five questions were interesting and in case you have any further questions on these questions or topics that we discussed, please type it in the chat box. I will be happy to answer. We are coming up with the next set of questions shortly. Thank you.